Howdy folks, Dan Rubino here at WPCentral.com and today I want to give you a quick tour of the new NES game emulator that's on the marketplace called VNS Lite made by Nadua who some of you are familiar with his work over at XDA. This used to be a sideloaded app, but now it's actually on the marketplace for you to get. It comes in two versions. There's a free one, which is ad supported, but fully functional. And then there's the paid version, which has no ads and otherwise has the same functions. That goes for a very reasonable 99 cents. We happen to like this a lot, mostly because it was reworked and now it's very metrified. I love this little screen, by the way. So here we go, more Metro, you got your titles. You have your recent games that show up there, including their save states. Scroll over, of course, you have any games that you've recently you know, added. They're all listed there so you can quickly play. Now, one of the big changes, and I think a lot of people are really happy about this, is the addition of a lot of extra controls, including if you go to Add Game. You can see now I have my SkyDrive support built in and so you can just put your account in, log in, and then you can pull down your ROMs. We'll just hit yes. And it goes down to my SkyDrive where I can hit ROMs. And then you can choose the ones you want. And of course I have some on here. And then you just tap it, it'll install. You can also back up your save states to SkyDrive, which is really good if you're moving to other devices. So we'll get there. You can also do URL. Now what's cool about the SkyDrive support, of course, it does do zips, it does do RARs, and it does, of course, the regular NES ROMs. So you don't need to unzip things or automatically detect the game in there and install it. We'll go over here, we'll do a classic Super Mario Brothers. And there's the game itself. Now what's cool about this too, uh, sort of like Purple Cherry and the other emulators for Sega, uh, this has support for first gen devices and second gen. Second gen devices of course have better chipsets on them so they can do more graphics and better sound. Uh, same here with this, so you can choose what your device is, second generation first, it'll auto detect it. And you can do the frame skip stuff. And of course you get the new controls which are really good. And of course it does do landscape support which I think many people will really like. Let's see, let me turn up the volume a little bit here. That's a little too loud. Now this does have sound emulation as you can hear. And for the most part, it's really good. This is set at the highest quality. But you still hear every once in a while a little scratching, a little distortion. It's not bad, it's not distracting. It's a heck of a lot better than having no sound. But it's not totally perfect either. But one thing we know about game emulators, sound emulation is very difficult. Other than that, the controls are very responsive. And this is, of course, playing the full frame rate. And I'll be honest, I'm not going to be very good playing this while trying to shoot a video, but hopefully it gives you an idea. You can barely see actually what I'm doing here. So if you like playing your classic games, you know, I definitely have to recommend this. It's a lot, a lot of fun. If you go to the screen here, you can have your resume, reset, main menu. You can save the game where it is. And you can always go back. Let's see, we'll go to main menu. And then if you want, you can also go to details. Yeah, I'll put it back in the uh, portrait. And clear state, load play. You have your different save states right here. As you can see, you have a lot of them, which is pretty nice. And of course, you can pin that game to the start screen for a very quick access. Now I think I want to play Super Mario Brothers. Just tap, and it loads up. Uh, couldn't be easier. It's just really, really good. I love playing a lot of these old NES games, Zelda and all those. You can find them out there in the marketplace. For 99 cents, you know, I go for the ad-free version. I'm not a big fan of ads on my games, but if you don't want to pay 99 cents, go for the free version. But highly recommend VNS Lite on the marketplace for Windows Phone. There you go. Take care, everybody.